Fine. Oh my god, this is going to be massive. You know I love the bathtub bomb in Battlefield 5, and in today's episode we're starting out with a 12-man, £4,000 bomb from Just A Meme Bro. Now, playing gameplay in Battlefield 5, it leaves a lot to be desired. Not everyone loves it, and it's quite frustrating to combat as an infantry player. However, we cannot take anything away from that bathtub bomb. I'm moving on to something that's, well, it's in an aircraft, but it's more skillful and epic. It's Parallax. He's flying in the Corsair with a glide bomb underneath, and he's being pursued by an enemy aircraft. Watch what happens next. Now watching that back in slow motion, you can see that he drops this glide bomb behind his Corsair. We zoom in a little bit here to see the enemy aircraft, fortunately for Parallax, just fly up into the glide bomb and detonate. Now this didn't happen just by chance as he sent in two clips doing the same thing, probably the most skillful plane trick shot, I suppose you could call it, that I think I've ever seen in Battlefield 5. Absolutely incredible. Sticking with another vehicle in Battlefield 5, we're looking at the Valentine tank and a clip from Hassam. He's playing on Aerodrome, a tank-centric map, some might say, with a lot of camping tanks, but he doesn't appear to be camping whatsoever, getting onto Alpha Objective and going super aggressive against a massive pile of enemy players. It's almost like the entire team is located here on Alpha Objective. He also has the same setup that I use with the six-pounder on the front, very versatile, the LMG as well for taking down infantry and some light vehicles and then the mine clearers alongside the smoke and the quick repair a really solid all-round loadout destroying that tank and racking up over 3,000 points and trust me it goes a little bit higher than that Next up, it's the greatest Ina. Ina, not sure how to pronounce that, playing once again in the Mosquito with the 4,000 pound bomb, taking out an enemy plane. That is just insane. Check it out. Oh. Get Your Ammo Here is next, playing on Operation Underground, check out this for an AP mine, Chain Reaction. Moving on to two clips from Baranox, this guy's a great streamer, definitely check him out if you're into high skill Battlefield 5 infantry gameplay. He's got the Type 2A, so that's a bit of a contradiction, as it's one of the most overpowered and cheese weapons, I suppose, on the game. However, you'll really enjoy his accuracy on this flank. Nice. As I said, he sent in two clips. The second is once again using the Type 2A on a flank in the caves of Iwo Jima. Super satisfying stuff. Moving on to one of the highest rated players in Battlefield 5 in terms of rank. He's not the highest, Maxi. He's very, very high, though. Playing a lot of grand operations and just completing matches gets him this rank alongside some massive playtime and, of course, a load of kills and points. Look at this as he dominates the enemy team on Bravo, trying to cap it for his team, hoping that they will push up and help him. I'm taking it now.
Come on. If this is not enough to take B, I'm literally just... I'm lost. There's not much more I can do than that. <laughs> Demo is next, playing on Mercury, looking to get around the side of the enemy team with this grease gun. Unfortunately, lands on this guy's head, puts a couple of rounds into the top of his skull, and then sets to work on the rest of that guy's team. A lot of points in this sneaky little flank. I don't include V1 clips very often, if at all, in the Battlefield top plays. However, this one from Kwan, I think your name is pronounced, playing on Solomon Islands, has to be included. Drops that V1, unfortunately gets pumped by the Model 37, but the V1 is on the way, or the Japanese equivalent of the V1. Moving on to a bit of a RAS with Umar Kings and a headshot spree, starting out with three quick consecutive kills using the Lewis gun and the three times, followed up by a couple more in the sandbag, switching out to his trusty secondary revolver and blasting enemy players in the head. That's a lot of kills on the side of Alpha Objective. Two clips from Wicked Homer, he's playing on the Pacific Rotation, looking to rack up headshot after headshot on enemy players. This sneaky little clip hiding behind some rock cover on Iwo Jima is very satisfying with all of those headshots. The second clip, though, is even better in my opinion. Yes, it starts off with a couple of kills on stationary enemies, but then he really starts to come up against it as he pushes down this hill on the flank of Alpha Objective. A tricky one to capture, unless, of course, you have an incredibly good plane on your team that just kills everything. A nice clip though with some really accurate headshots. He did have a clip at the start of this episode, but another one has been sent in from Just a Mean Bro, this time inside a tank, and he's going after planes instead of killing people with the plane. Two Stukas for two shots to start things out. Very successful stuff. He does get a few additional kills, though, in this clip. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, come to, come to the mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three of them down. What are you shooting with me? Stag out, dude. I just I just shot three of their stag out. Uh, sorry, three of their stuckers out here. A nice seven kill streak from Cubic using the Lee Enfield iron sights on Hamada. Accurate stuff this as he smashes the enemy team without even using a scope. What an incredible clip. Three clips left in today's episode. This one from Sir Shadrich, I think. Playing on Narvik gets himself a headshot, but then he gets himself another headshot on a plane flying past. Very, very rare to see in Battlefield 5 due to the circumstances, and of course, very difficult to hit as well. An awesome headshot, though. A really nice clip to see.
Moving on, a clip from Woe Gaming. He's on this little flank. When playing PL, you can jump up on top of those little rocks in the canyon or whatever you want to call this. A little mountain pass jumps up, gets inside, and starts mowing players down with the Tommy gun, not using the Type 2A. Nice to see this Tommy gun make a return. If you remember about a year ago, it was all people used for clips like this. So nice to see it come back to Battlefield even with the current gun balance. And now to finish off, it's Thunder with another Battlefield 1 clip. The quality of this guy in Battlefield 1 is just incredible. Blasting people away with the Selbstlader M1916. Awesome stuff from Thunder. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. If you didn't, feel free to leave a dislike. Remember to send your clips in for the Top Plays and, of course, this new series that I'm just about getting into with editing for funny clips, funny moments, things like that. Of course, you can use the Battlefield Top Plays at gmail.com email to send me in clips as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.